You're watching UNICEF television. Going through the types of disasters that they hope will never come, but they know might. These secondary school children in Georgia are now better prepared thanks to the lessons they receive and the games they have been playing. We knew a little about disasters before, but these games have taught us a lot more. And some, like 15-year-old Tornike Gagadze, know about disasters firsthand. This is where the mudslide came down from the forests and blocked the river here. One Saturday morning after torrential rains, a landslide near Tornike's home blocked the Aragvi River, flooding a number of houses alongside it, his included. It happened so quickly we only had a chance to grab important documents and money and get out. Everything else like furniture, clothes, the television was all lost. We often have floods here, his father Vajja Gagadja tells us, but last year was the worst we've ever had. Everything was gone in 15 minutes. Nestling below the towering peaks of the South Caucasus mountains and its foothills, the community of Maleta know the hazards in their school surroundings with mud flows in spring and avalanches in winter. Global climate change is likely to exacerbate extreme weather events leading to more frequent disasters. They know how important it is for their children to acquire knowledge and skills to protect themselves in the event of a disaster, valuing disaster preparedness activities. The children are very engaged and carry messages home because it's the kind of life-saving information that you don't forget. The Disaster Management Board at this school is overseeing preparations to make the new building safe, from the introduction of safety equipment and instruction on its use, to risk mitigation and regular evacuation drills. It's all part of Disaster Risk Reduction, or DRR. The project has also been excellent in, in the sense that it's got society and communities to look at DRR through the eyes of, of those that they hold most precious, which is children, and, and to really uh, consider their responsibility to do the maximum to protect children from the, from the consequences of disaster. With support from UNICEF and the European Commission Humanitarian Aid Department, local government and NGO partners in Georgia have been able to develop special DRR educational materials with 25 schools under UNICEF's first ever pilot program. DRR will now be included into the national school curriculum starting from September 2011. So uh, DRR uh, issues and topics are included in uh, different uh, curriculum subjects like natural sciences, social sciences. Um, uh, these uh, DRR topics are uh, taught uh, also separately. At this school in Tbilisi, as in others throughout Georgia, DRR lessons are given not only in Georgian, but also in other languages reaching ethnic minorities, this one in Russian. This is after an earthquake and there are buildings falling down, cars are being smashed up and unfortunately one person left inside shouting for help. The work on the ground in Georgia is very much in line with the European Union vision. Looking forward, the, in, in this world of more disasters, more intense conflicts, we see together two very important priorities. One to collaborate on linking what we do in relief immediately after a disaster with what we do in development, how we provide life-saving uh, support, but then we also provide hope for the future. The hope is when it comes to being prepared for disaster, no child in Georgia will be left behind. This is Rob McBride reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.